मेडिकल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी और एम टी पे इट रेफर्स टू द मेडिकली सुपरवाइज एंडिंग ऑफ अ प्रेगनेंसी यूजिंग द अप्रूव्ड मेथड्स इट इज अ क्रूशियल पार्ट ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ केयर एंश्योरिंग वुमेन हैव सेफ लीगल ऑप्शन वेन कंटिन्यूइंग अ प्रेगनेंसी मे नॉट बी पॉसिबल प्लान और सेफ Pregnancy it is a natural biological process but difficult circumstances like the medical emotional social or personal can make the continuation risky or unsuitable so here mtp offers a regulated and medically safe solution in such situations its primary is to protect the woman's physical health mental well-being and overall dignity The Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act was originally enacted in 1971 marking a major step towards providing safe and legal abortion services in India. Later the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act 2017 was introduced by the government of India with the intention of reducing the incidence of illegal abortions and thereby decreasing the maternal mortality and morbidity. This amendment aimed to expand access to safe services, ensure better regulation and discourage unsafe practices carried out by the untrained individuals. The legal framework defines who can perform MTP, the conditions under which it can be done and the gestational limits all with the goal of protecting women's health and rights. MTP is carried out through two main methods. First is a medical method. It is used during the early pregnancy generally up to 9 weeks and it involves the approved medications and antiprogestin followed by a prostaglandin analog. This method is non-invasive, effective and safe when conducted under the medical guidance. Then comes the second method which is a surgical method. It is used when medical methods are unsuitable or when the pregnancy is more advanced. Procedures like the vacuum aspiration or dilation or evacuation are performed in approved centers by trained specialists. When done correctly, both methods are highly safe and reliable. MTP may be advised when continuing the pregnancy threatens the woman's physical or mental health or the fetus has severe congenital abnormalities and the pregnancy resulted from sexual assault or the when the contraceptive failure leads to the unintended pregnancy or continuing the pregnancy may cause severe emotional social or financial distress thus MTP supports a woman's health autonomy and overall well-being MTP is considered very safe when performed by qualified professionals in approved medical facilities. First trimester MTPs up to 12 weeks are the safest because the embryo is small, the cervix requires minimal dilation and the uterus responds effectively to medical drugs. Complications like the heavy bleeding, infection or incomplete evacuation are rare in this period. But in contrast, the second trimester abortions which is after like the 12 weeks this carry the higher risk by this time the fetus and the placenta are larger and more firmly attached making both medical and surgical procedures more complex blood loss infection risk and procedural complications increase with the gestational age although still safe in the trained hands second trimester mtp requires more expertise monitoring and stricter legal oversight post procedure care includes the monitoring for warning signs attending follow up visits and discussing the contraception to prevent future unplanned pregnancies in summary the medical termination of pregnancy is a medically guided and legally supported procedure that plays a vital role in the woman's reproductive health the mtp act of 1971 and its amendment in 2017 were very crucial steps towards reducing the unsafe abortions and protecting women from preventable maternal mortality and morbidity mtp when performed early and under proper medical supervision is extremely safe and essential for the safeguarding of the women's health rights and quality of life so mtp is not just a healthcare procedure it is a cornerstone of safe responsible and compassionate reproductive care